This is the Rabbit R1, a tiny handheld device powered by AI that wants to accomplish some of the things you can already do on your phone, but faster and more efficiently. You basically hold down this little gray button and speak into the device to ask it a question. You can just ask it about the weather, you can ask it for cafe recommendations, you can order an Uber, order DoorDash. But one of my favorite things that you can do with it is using this little camera right here to scan the world around you and ask for more information about the things that you see. So this is not my review of the Rabbit R1, but I just wanted to show you guys how I've been using the device and give you a better sense of what it can actually do. So this is my first full day with the Rabbit R1. I unboxed it and set it up last night and the process was pretty simple. I opened up the device, connected it to the internet via Wi-Fi. You can also put in a SIM card and use a cellular network if you want to. After that, I scanned a QR code to pair my Rabbit R1 device with my Rabbit account that I had just created before setting it up. And then after that, Rabbit directs you to go to this website called The Rabbit Hole, where you can connect different services to your device. And I've only had a few minutes to kind of like play around with it so far. Like I said, this is day one and it's only the afternoon, so I haven't had a ton of time. But so far, Spotify does seem to be working uh, the way it should be for the most part. So it feels really lightweight. It's much smaller than a phone. I would say it's probably about half the size of a phone. It fits almost like perfectly in the palm of my hand. And because of its small size, it feels natural to kind of hold it like this, almost like a walkie talkie when I'm speaking into it. And I think that's the general idea. It's supposed to be kind of like a walkie talkie. In the about half day that I've been using the Rabbit R1 so far, I've had a lot of fun just kind of pointing it at things and asking questions. Now that it's all set up and ready to go, I'm excited to take it out into the real world and really see what it can do. I'm here in Washington Square Park. It's a really nice day out and I'm gonna see exactly how nice it is outside. What's the weather like today? Looking it up now. Today, we April go. 25th, 2024. In New York, New York, USA, the weather will be partly cloudy with a high near 55 degrees Fahrenheit and a low around 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I'm launching the camera again. I'm gonna ask it about this landmark and I'm gonna see if it can tell me what it is. Tell me about this landmark. This impressive architectural structure is the Washington Square Arch. It stands as a grand entry point to Washington Square Park, framing the view of the park and the surrounding buildings. The arch is adorned with ornate decorative elements and features. So the battery on the Rabbit R1 drains really fast. It's about noon and it's down to 15% already after taking it off of its charger around 9 a.m., maybe slightly before that. And to give you some context, about five minutes ago, this thing was at 20% and now it's down to 15%. So let's go find a place to charge up. Hey, can you find me a cafe nearby? Looking it up now. Here are some cafes near Public Theater, New York, New York, USA, Gyukaku, New York, New York Vertical Bar East Village, 0 0.06 miles away at 34 Cooper Square. Okay. A restaurant at Great Jones Distilling Co. So 0.13 is... miles away at 686 Broadway. So this isn't really what I'm looking for. It's giving me like restaurants and places that sound like restaurants and bars. I'm gonna try one more time. What is the best cafe nearby? Looking it up now. Based on the search results, Bluestone Lane Upper West Side Cafe is a highly recommended cafe near the public theater. So it gave me some recommendations, but it didn't show me a map or anything like that. So I'm still pulling out my phone to actually get to the cafe. We're at a cafe, we are all charged up. I'm just getting a little bit of work done before we move on to our next stop. But I also wanna show you how you can use the Rabbit R1 to record voice memos. So you can just say anything and it'll record it and then save it to the Rabbit Hole website. So um, I'm gonna try this right now. Start a voice recording for me. Hmm. 
remind me to feed the cats as soon as I get home and then go out to buy some more litter. Okay, so you can see it's recording and then all I did was go down to the scroll wheel and then press this button to stop it. And now the session Saving is- Saving your note. Saved. Please provide more details on what you need help with. Thank you for your understanding. I don't know why it said that, but the recording should be saved now. <laughs> As you can see, the recording is saved right here to my journal in the rabbit hole, and it even named the recording based on the contents of it. So since I mentioned feeding the cats and getting cat litter, it's called it Cat Care Errands Discussion. So I can click on it right here and it'll play. Um, and then it has like a, a nice little summary at the bottom, although the summary seems to be a little short. I have this book of Spanish poetry right here, and I'm going to see if the rabbit R1 can translate it for me. Translate this text into English. Sorry, the translation feature is not available in vision mode. Please switch to voice mode. Okay, so you cannot translate an image, as it turns out. You can only translate speech. So now we're a little bit charged up, so we're ready to move on to our next spot. But I do want to also mention that the founder of Rabbit does say that an update should be coming to fix some of these battery issues. So we look forward to testing that when that happens. Okay, so I'm all packed up and ready to go and I'm gonna call an Uber because if you remember, like I mentioned earlier, in that Rabbit Hole Connections page, I connected my Uber account to the Rabbit R1 when I set it up. So let's try it out. Call me an Uber to Battery Park. Requesting for a ride now. Oh, there we go. Uber may take a while to load on Rabbit OS. It may not be available in all regions. Okay, so it's requesting a ride, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Apologies. There seems to be an issue with the Uber service. Please try again later. So. I don't know if you heard that, but it said there appears to be an issue with the Uber service and it's going to try again later. Um, it's later, so let's try again. <laughs> Call me an Uber to Battery Park. Uber may take a while to load on Rabbit OS and may not be available in all regions. Apologies, there seems to be an issue with the Uber service. Please try again later. Well, I don't know why it's not working, but for now, I'll just have to go back to using my phone. So we're here in Battery Park in downtown Manhattan. We came to see the Statue of Liberty, but it's blocked off, so we can't really get a good view from down here. So we're gonna ask Rabbit about some other points of interest that we can check out. And we're also just gonna ask it about things that we see as we're wandering around, like this castle. Can you tell me about this landmark? This appears to be the entrance to a historic landmark or attraction. There is a sign indicating ticket holders directing visitors, suggesting this is the entrance to a ticketed event or museum. The brick building and architectural style indicates this is likely a well-known and significant landmark, though I cannot identify any specific individuals or make assumptions about the nature of the event or attraction. It couldn't identify Castle Clinton, which is right behind me just by looking at it, but I'm going to ask it if it knows what it is to see if it can give me any more context about it. Tell me about Castle Clinton in New York City. It's a historic fort and now a national monument. It was originally built as a defensive fortification in the early 19th century to protect New York Harbor. It has served various purposes over the years, including as an entertainment center, immigration processing center, and aquarium. Today, Castle Clinton is a popular tourist attraction and a reminder of New York City's rich history. What are some top sites to see near Battery Park in New York City? Let me see what I can find. Battery Park, located at the southern tip of Manhattan Island in New York City, offers numerous attractions for visitors. The park provides stunning views of the Statue of Liberty and access to nearby restaurants and museums. Some top sites to see near Battery Park include, one, asterisk Battery, Park City, Esplanade, asterisk, asterisk, a scenic pathway along the river from Battery Park to Tribeca, asterisk, sea glass, carousel, asterisk, asterisk, a beautiful iridescent carousel inspired by the original New York Aquarium. 
creating an underwater atmosphere with LEDs and a bioluminescent feel. Okay, I don't know if you caught all that, but it spoke out the asterisks that were in the text for some reason, but those all sound like interesting attractions that are literally right here, but I'm gonna see if it can kind of pick up on, um, if it can continue the conversation. Tell me more about the carousel. The Sea Glass Carousel in Battery oh. Park, New York City is a unique and enchanting attraction. It is a modern, aquatic-themed carousel that features 30 luminescent, iridescent fish figures that appear to swim through the air. The carousel is housed in a pavilion with a spiraling nautilus shell roof, creating an immersive underwater experience for riders. Okay, there you have it. So you can also use the Rabbit R1 as a language translator when you're out and about, so I'll show you how it works right now. Translate English to Spanish. Translation mode is initiating. Apologies. The translation function needs more information. Can you specify the source and target languages? Translate English to Spanish. Starting the translator now. How do I get to the Wall Street train station? ¿Cómo llego a la estación de tren de Wall Street? Okay, so we've done a ton of sightseeing today with the Rabbit R1. Now I'm taking a break and I'm gonna put some music on through Spotify. And I think something a bit New York-y might be appropriate for today. Playing the song Empire State of Mind. Getting the music going now. All right, there it goes. So it's nice that you can scroll through the queue here. I do kind of wish that when Spotify was on that this turned into like a volume control wheel. I feel like that would be really intuitive, but that's just my two cents. There are There is another way to control the volume, by the way. You can go into the settings menu and adjust the volume. So I've been playing with the Rabbit R1 for a couple of days. It's been a lot of fun. I really like how well it understands language, but even in that short amount of time, I do feel like there are some ways it can improve. For one, it didn't always answer my requests the way that I wanted it to. And also, even when it does answer my requests, sometimes just having the words spoken out loud, especially if it's a long answer, isn't always that valuable. I really wish it automatically sent it to my phone or saved it in the rabbit hole or something like that where that information can be accessible later. Although it does save photos and recordings, it doesn't save my queries at this time. Now that's an important point because my other point about this is that I feel like it's going to evolve a lot. If you watched the keynote presentation recently unveiling the device, there's a whole list of new features and integrations that are under development. So this is really something that's hard to judge on day one, but I do feel like it has a lot of room to grow. I haven't really found the one big thing that's gonna make me want to reach for this instead of my phone, but this is something that we're expecting to evolve in the future. and gain more integrations and features as time goes on. So don't forget to check out CNET for my full review.